in, in the matter of Melania Trump and the plagiarized portion of her speech that came right from Michelle, Obama, Michelle Obama's 2008 speech at the Democratic National Convention. First of all, it's five o'clock in the morning. Second of all, I'm at San Francisco International Airport waiting for a BART to train, but I digress. First of all, who discovered this? His name is Jarrett Hill. He is a laid off journalist and black. School one for diversity in media and score another for overlooked, talented journalists of color because he discovered the similarities in the speech between Melania Trump and Michelle Obama. And someone on Twitter said, well, this ought to get you a lot of job offers. He was, he's, a, he's described as a recently laid off journalist. Now, those of you who are Trump supporters and are trying to spin this as yellow journalism or fake or anything, no, it's not. It's sadly real. And no one wished ill on Melania Trump at all. At all. And I've got to believe that Melania didn't really write that, which opens up an entirely other can of worms because she said that it was mostly her and the question is okay which part of it was you and which part of it was someone else was it that plagiarized part another question this is undoubtedly the worst opening ever for Republican National Convention in my lifetime I cannot remember a single RNC convention that was this chaotic, interesting, and exciting all at the same time. So it's both good and bad. They got buzz like you'd get from, you know, a Super Bowl event like Justin Timberlake ripping off Janet Jackson's bra or something like that, right? <laughs> Will this hurt ultimately? You know, at first it's going to, but it's going to make a lot more people pay attention, which is a good thing. So they've got a platform larger than anyone expected.